guys. I hope you're having a great magical day where you are as I'm having a good day where I am. So today I'm gonna to be doing a DIY project with y'all on this tote right here. I actually made this and I'm gonna share with y'all today how I made this and why I chose to put the phrase home sweet scents on there. It's because I'm going to be storing my candles, my tarts, my wax melts, my wallflowers. Anything smell good is going to be going in here. In the past, I have traditionally stored like my candles, my tarts, my wax melts, my wallflowers, anything like that in that cabinet right there. And this past holiday season, it was kind of piling up in there. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna put them off in the corner in the dining room in shopper bags. And um, I'll show you that here in a minute. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll show you really quick. See what I mean? I just, I just took them and just stored them right here during the holiday season. And it's fine here. I don't have a problem with it at all, but I thought when people go to sit down and eat in our dining room, this is what, uh, depending on where you sit, this is what you would see. And I thought, you know what? I should probably take this after the holidays and put it in a tote of some sort. So that's why I bought the tote. And then I thought, let's be creative and decorate the tote up some. So that's how they look right now sitting in the corner and may I add that this corner smells really good with all these candle scents going so as you can see guys it it's organized it's straightened but it's not necessarily the most um attractive looking if you're sitting in that part of the dining room and you just see those shopper bags so I thought creating something like this would be really fun and kind of just make it look a little nicer so I actually picked up this tote it's cotton uh material it's really sturdy there's the inside i actually picked this up on amazon and i will try to remember to leave a link down below in the description box uh, linking you to this tote if you're interested they do have different colors and i did pick up the large size and it's got rope handles um on the side i do before i show you that diy craft though i do want to show you a couple other little things that i picked up i was like well you know why not kind of make this into like a little craft haul nothing major so again on amazon um a couple of weeks ago i had bought uh, a pantry storage unit for the pantry and in the past, Dan and I, in our past home, we had bought a wired one. And I remember, meaning it was wired racks, and I remember that at one point, every time we opened and closed the pantry door, it was kind of scratching at the paint on the inside of the door. So Dan had kind of put, you know, some, uh, like a flannel on the back, not a Velcro, but like a flannel. So uh, it wouldn't rub against the door and possibly continue, the metal wouldn't run against the door and possibly continue to mark it up. Eventually the flannel just brushing up against the door, anytime, you know, the boys would swing the, the door open and they were much younger at the time, uh, over time that flannel would rub on the paint and pick up some of the paint also. Uh, this time around, I wanted to get something that was a little softer uh, material, and I happened to come across these six clear window pocket over the door hanging organizers. Let me say that again. Six clear window pocket over the door hanging organizers. Oh, and they're right here, guys. And I picked up this one for the craft room that Dan and I are designing. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll and I am designing a craft room in one of the spare bedrooms. It's gonna be my home office slash craft room. I am videoing that uh, right now as y'all requested 100% poll, said you wanted a before and after and everything in between. So I'm working on that video. 
But I had bought this for the pantry, fell in love with it, and I was like, I wanna get it for the craft room so I can put it on the inside of the door. So I actually bought another one. Um, if you're interested, I will include a clip right now of the one on the pantry door so you could see what it is I am talking about. Here's the one on our pantry door. And like I said, I love it. It's got the clear windows. I'll try to zoom in for y'all so y'all can see. But I love it. To me, it actually looks a little more, how can I say it, classy than the wire rack ones. And I get quite a bit of items in there. And um, it it's a very durable fabric. I like the little windows. But like I said, guys, it's a six pocket and um, it, six, it sits flush against the closet door. And I, whoops, and I am definitely looking forward to storing this in the craft room. But this is how it looks in the pantry if you're interested in picking up one. The next item, guys, I picked up was this little organizer here. I actually picked this up at Tuesday morning. It was only $8.99. I actually bought this before I got the tote, and I wasn't absolutely sure. It does fit in there, but because I thought over here I would put, like, my tarts and my um, candle warmer tarts and my little wax melts, I have candles and I don't know if all my candles are gonna fit right here, so I don't necessarily know if this is doable or not. If not, no big deal, because I could definitely use this uh, item for another you know, purpose. The other thing I had picked up, which I fell in love with, was this little organizer right here, and it retailed at Tuesday mornings for $12.99. I've actually seen this at Hobby uh, Lobby. They had this like on the top shelf. I've seen it before, but it's just a little organizer. It's, I like, I like the fact that it sits as a case and Molly's barking because I think Zach's walking in the door right now. Sorry guys, that was Zach that came in the door and I wanted to talk with him real quick and see how his day at school went, but I'm back. So as I was saying, this is a, um, it's like a suitcase almost. And then inside of it, it has all these other little mini storage containers that look like this. And then they just have a little snap there where you can snap uh, and snap it and then store things in there. And I love the rainbow colors. So I definitely will be putting this to good use in my new craft room. It's got a snap. There we go. The last couple of things I bought, guys. So, again, if you follow me on Instagram, then I kind of gave you a backstory of how I buy Copic markers. Uh, Copic markers are great markers to use for crafting and card making and anything that you're going to need a marker for. The only thing with Copic is that they're $7.99 a marker. So, I usually pick up a Copic marker one, two, or three here and there when I have coupons. However, and I showed that on Instagram the other day, the latest ones that I bought. I bought some from the Purple family, but I came across these alcohol markers at um, Tuesday mornings, and before I bought them, I was actually standing in Tuesday mornings uh, looking up YouTube videos, talking about these markers to get reviews on them. And everybody that was a crafter that the video I watched gave a pretty decent review. And um, they were talking about how it did not bleed outside the lines and that um, they enjoyed the fact that they blended easily. So I will be interested to match these up against Copic markers and see how they compare. But I picked up these. So they're right here. They come, I got three of them. They actually come in these nice little cases, which I like. So I got those. This is how they look like that. They have a pointy end right there. And then they got the fat tip edge side. Oh, oh, right there on that side. Very similar to Copic. Hopefully the quality is very similar. And then of course you can store it back in the container, which I really like. And then it just snap closes. 
again these were $9.99 so I got these I got these and then I got these so I picked up all of these these were the only colors they had or containers I wish they had more because uh, I probably would have bought a fourth one um, my thing is I'm going to be like probably falling in love with these markers and then not be able to get my hands on any more because these are the only three color shade families that they sell at my Tuesday mornings. So, but yeah, guys, that's it on the haul. Let's go on ahead and put this together with the candles and see how it turns out. We're starting off in design space. That is, um, where I go to create the design that I want to cut and put on um, my product. So I had taken an image off of the Cricut program. So I had gone over to images. Let me click over there and I'll show you how I did it. I clicked on images and I went over here to categories and I typed in the word home and I'll scroll down and show y'all. See right here, I used these right here and all I did was click on this, okay? And then I hit insert, okay? But I got rid of the family, our life, our story, our home. Let me cancel this out. By just cutting it out and I just did a slice cut and it, it made it, you know, disappear. I sliced it out, cut it away. So then I went on ahead and took that image and I went to my desktop and I used fonts that I have to create the word home, sweet, and scents. And I uploaded them separately, okay? And then I just positioned them the way I wanted them to be. And I went on ahead and grouped them together and then welded them together. And that is how I got this image right here. So I'm just gonna turn these off so we don't see them. I'm not deleting them. On Cricut, there's this little eye and when you hit the little eye and exit out, it just hides it. It doesn't get rid of it. It just takes it away from the screen. So this is the image that I actually want to cut um, with my HTV vinyl. So I am going to go on ahead and send this over to the Cricut and it's gonna cut it. But first I need to get my vinyl ready to do that. guys I got this um, cut and um, I got my weeding tool right here this is a Cricut weeding tool and then I have a pair of scissors I like to have scissors put aside that way I can use them if I need to cut off any excess as I'm working when make sure I forgot to mention when you do your design always make sure that you have it measured out properly to the um, material that you're going to be placing this on so we are going to go ahead and we are going to weed this
bucket here or my storage uh, container here. This is 100% cotton, okay? And I have my HTV vinyl laid down. I have a cloth here just in case I need it. And guys, I do have a commercial heat press for when I do t-shirts, but I don't um, have a like Cricut heat press that you can buy these days because that would work great given these dimensions. So I'm just going to use my iron today because my commercial heat press um, is downstairs right now and I'm not gonna bring it up, but um, we're gonna go ahead and iron this. I am going to iron directly on this plastic, um, but first I just kinda wanna lay this down before I do that and just lay my iron down for a minute or two. So there you have it. What do y'all think? I love the way it came out. I love the little sparkly silver shimmer and now I'm gonna be able to store my candles and my tarts and my um, wallflower uh, little jars in a nice decorative container rather than in a big shopping bag in the dining room. And um, I'm looking forward to assembling that and I think I'll go ahead and do that with y'all so y'all can see how I kind of put it together. But at first I was going to go with black on, you know, the design, but then I thought, no, let me do a silver with the teal, but I think it came out really cute and I can't wait to fill it. So let's go do that real quick. Hey guys, so I'm sitting down over here in the corner. Hopefully the lighting's not that bad. We are going to assemble this and hopefully everything fits in here. Uh, like I said, I really want to leave this basket in there. So we're going to see if I can get the big jar candles in there along with this basket. So let's get started.
Guys, I think that looks so much better than those shopping bags. Now when people sit down in the dining room to eat, um, they'll have something nicer to look at when they're sitting over and uh, towards this way in the corner. So really quick, I'll just show you everything. I got everything in there and I'm really happy with it. Uh, my Yankee candles fit in here and I'm, I'm pleased about that. Um, hopefully, I'll get through these candles and my uh, bath and body work candles will fit in here also. I don't have any of those right now because I did use them all this holiday. And then my little uh, wax melts uh, that I get from Yankee fit great in here. All my little um, mini uh, like tea, tea uh, lit candles fit great in there in that box. And then over here, I have like my little um, toppers that go on top of my Yankee candles like that. They fit great. All my little tart, or not tarts, but wax melts that I use. These are my absolute favorite scent, uh, lemon sugar cookie. If you like the way lemon and sugar cookie smell, yes. And there's something about this particular brand that I really like. Um, I can get several uses out of the, these before I have to switch them out of my wax melt warmers. Um, the orange burst, who smells like spring, smells delicious. Uh, the sweet caramel, I discovered this scent during the holidays, loved it. Uh, French vanilla, love that smell one of my all-time favorite winter or fall smells is the french toast guys this makes me think of walt disney world grand floridian during the holidays you know when you walk in there and that whole entire hotel smells like gingerbread okay this has that same smell and it makes me think of the grand floridian every time another great smell is spiced ground vanilla that one is good these are all spring orange vanilla, yummy. And I have another orange vanilla. That stuff smells really good. And then I have citrus blush. Over here, guys, I just have a couple of tarts, some votives that I managed to get in there, um, some wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I have some more tarts right here. I get these, let me get it out. I can't. I get these from craft shows and I have one left from this past year and this one is called the pumpkin spice. Uh, there's this particular vendor that I always uh, get those from each craft show here. I have a Scentsy Dumbo smell pouch here. I still have my mini one in the car as she still smells, but this one is my Dumbo. I have not put that out in the car yet. And then my other car smell goods, I have um, these um, odor neutralizers that I also put in the car as well. And this one is Spice Pumpkin, and this one is Apple Pumpkin. So everything fits in here nicely, and it just looks more organized and more pleasing to the eye, I think, especially if you're going to be eating in here. But yeah, guys, that is how it looks. You have to let me know what y'all think. And I love the home sweet scents, so I'm pleased with how that turned out, too. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think about this DIY project by sharing your thoughts in the comment section down below. Until next time, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week, and I will see y'all later. Bye, guys. Take care.